This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad therein. Amen? Amen. We thank God for allowing us to come together one more time. And my brothers and sisters, we don't truly know this might be our last time on this side. Amen? Amen. So what we should do on this day, we should give God some praise. Can I get a witness? Just due to the fact that he's worthy to be praised. Amen? Amen? We should praise him for who he is. He's God. He's God all by himself. He's an unchanging God. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Amen? I'm glad he's God. Anybody out there glad he's God? Come on. We should praise him from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Amen? Let everything that has breath do what? If you're breathing, you ought to be doing what? Come on, y'all. Give God some praise. Come on. Give God some praise. Come on. Give God some praise. Come on. Somebody out there shout hallelujah. Come on. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Amen? Amen? He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Amen? God bless you. God keep you. Listen to me right now. You may be lost, 
lost in your mind. You may be confused, confused in your heart. What you need to do is to cast all in your care upon the Lord. He cares for you. You've been looking here, searching everywhere. Looking, searching everywhere. You've been looking, searching everywhere. Looking, searching everywhere. I'm looking, I'm looking. Keep on looking, but when you look, Look to the hills which come in your hair, all your hair come from the Lord. His word is on time, just keep on looking. His word is on time, just keep on looking. Friends with you, just keep on looking. Friends with you, just keep on looking. His word is on time, just keep on looking. Keep on looking, just keep on looking. Anybody in trial, anybody in trial, keep on looking. You've been looking here, searching everywhere. Looking here, searching everywhere. You've been looking, searching everywhere. Looking, searching everywhere. I'm looking, I'm looking, yeah. keep on looking, but when you look, look to the hill, what's to in your hair, all your hair, it comes from the Lord, I'm looking, somewhere, 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 waiting, Search and and, and there is a better way this morning. Amen. 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 If you only look, Amen. He's there already. And it is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray this morning. Eternal God, we come right now. God, we just thank you right now. Oh God, we just lift your holy and excellent name this morning. God, for we are know you know that you're truly worthy of all our praise. Oh God. God, before we ask any one thing of you this morning, oh God, we just want to thank you. Oh God, for we, we just thank you, oh God, for just one more opportunity, oh God, to, to give your name glory this morning, oh God. God, just to lift you up, oh God. Oh God, that we may come and gather, oh God, and just sing praises to your most holy name this morning, oh God. And now, oh God, we just come right now and ask me that you Allow your Holy Spirit to dwell among us this morning, oh God. Oh God, just touch some heart this morning, oh God. Oh God, they may be confused in their mind, oh God. Oh God, we just ask that you give them clarity this morning, oh God. Oh God, just let them know that 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 you first loved us, oh God. Oh God, now, oh God, that we we, we, we have a right now, oh God. Oh God, that we, we realize, oh God, that someone just may not be feeling well this morning, oh God. Oh God, we just ask that you allow your healing virtue to go forth right now, oh God. Oh God, just touch someone right now, oh God. Oh God, then we, we, we know that this, this pandemic is still raging through this land, oh God. Oh God, but we know that you are our protector this morning, oh God. Oh God, we just ask that you, you, you build a fence around us, oh God. Oh God, just, just keep your loving arms around us, oh God, oh God. Oh God, as we just try to praise your most holy name, oh God. Then, oh God, again, we just ask that you bless, bless this church family right now, oh God. Oh God, we just ask that you hold us together, oh God. Oh God, continue to just, just to move in this family, this church family, oh God. Then, oh God, we just ask that you, you, you bless our musicians today, oh God, on there, as we celebrate them, oh God. Oh God, we just thank you right now that you put them on their, their hearts, oh God, to, to use their gifts for you, oh God. Oh God, use their gift of music to just praise your holy name today, oh God. Again, we just thank you right now, oh God. God, again, we just ask that you bless our children this morning, God. God, just continue to help us be better examples for them, oh God. God, we help them to understand that they need you in their lives right now, God. God, we just thank you again. God, we just ask that you continue to just, God, just move throughout this land and country, oh God, touching our leaders, oh God. God, we just ask that you help them to understand, oh God, that they too should look towards you for guidance and advice, oh God. 
God, we just thank you one more time, God, for just allowing your son Jesus to come, uh, pain, bleed, and die for us, oh God. Oh God, but more important that he rose again, oh God. Oh God, that we may have an opportunity to live according to thy words, oh God. Oh God, and obey your, your standards, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, we just praise you. For it is in your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Our scripture for this morning, Psalms 100, in its entirety. Amen? This is one of my favorite passages of scripture. It speaks to us as God's children. Psalms 100, beginning at verse 1, it says, Make a joy for Noah's. Unto the Lord all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Why? For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Amen? Amen. This is God's word for God's people. Anybody out there know you're blessed? Amen.
I wonder if anybody here know there's power in the name of Jesus. I said, anybody here know there's power in the name of Jesus? Have you ever called him? I said, have you ever called him? Somebody said, I called him early in the morning, late in the evening, over in the midnight hour. But no matter when you call him, I believe there's power in his name. If you would, every head bowed and every eye closed. Eternal God, we thank you for being God. We thank you for the name of Jesus. Right now, we invoke that name into the atmosphere. Jesus, breathe on us. Help us to leave stronger, better than when we came. As I stand here now, God, I ask that you would allow me to decrease and you increase. Take away my stubborn lip and stammering tongue and anoint me afresh for you. I pray, God, that you would heal somebody, save somebody, set somebody free right now in the name of Jesus and the people of God who love God said amen. amen. If you know God's been good to you, why don't you give him some glory? Truly <laughs> above men and above angels is our God worthy to be praised. Amen. To Pastor Jones, to I'm Max's music ministry. Why don't y'all give God some praise for the music ministry on today? Amen. Certainly our audiovisual ministry, each of you, my Heavenly Father's children. How good it is to be kept. Certainly on this day, amen, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge those persons who lead our music ministry here at Douglas Tabernacle. Amen. Sister Jesse Moore, Sister Amy Clark. Deacon Ed Scott, Sister Tamika McMillan, and Antonio Hargrove are a blessing to this church. Amen. Come on, y'all give us some glory. Amen. I believe we're blessed to have one of the finest set of musicians anywhere in the state of Alabama. Amen. 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 It's a poor dog that don't wag his own tail. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So certainly we thank God for them and we honor them on today. They help us uh, by urging us into the presence of the Lord week in and week out. Amen. Amen. Whereby we lead better than when we came. So we certainly thank you for your service. Brothers and sisters, uh, this morning as our mind shifts toward this coming Christmas, I want to begin a series of messages focused on celebrating Jesus. As it's all about him. Amen. Amen. On today, there's a word in the New Testament book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, beginning at verse 18. I would that we stand together, Matthew, chapter 1, beginning at verse 18. Matthew, chapter 1, beginning at verse 18, says this. Now, the birth of Jesus was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not wanting to make a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in, in, in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, 
and took to him his wife and did not know her till he, she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus. Amen. Can you say amen to the word? Amen. As you're seated in the presence of our good and gracious God on today, for a few minutes, the Lord and I just want to talk about Emmanuel. God with us. Are y'all here? Amen. Emmanuel. God with us. I wonder if there's anybody in the sanctuary beside me who's just glad to know God is with you. Amen. Maybe there's somebody watching on the live stream. Amen. If your boys and your girls aren't with you, it's reassuring to know that the Lord is with you. Douglas Tabernacle, the Christmas season of, over all other seasons is my favorite season. I enjoy the atmosphere of being around people who are joyful. I appreciate the cheerful exchanges, the good food, the gifts, and there's a cake that Mother Hargrove has left on my desk ever since I've been pastor. She does it on the third Sunday, right after the Christmas play. I just thought I'd put that out there this morning. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. I enjoy the Christmas season. Uh, however, the breaker with all that goes on during the Christmas season, we have to be careful not to forget about the Christ of Christmas. As Jesus is the reason for the season. I hope to call, I don't mess nobody up, but Christmas is not about you better watch out, you better not pout, you better not cry. I'm telling you why, because Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, he's making a list, he's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty and nice. Uh, to Carl, it's not about that, because if the Lord was making a list, I'd have to sneak out of here this morning. Uh-huh. Uh, if they warned, if he was making a list and checking it twice, I'd have to go through the side door, and the rest of y'all would have to come on behind me. Y'all ain't sad, nothing to me. However, Sister Matthews, Christmas reminds us uh, of how God uh, looked beyond our faults, saw our needs. We needed a Savior, and God sent his only begotten Son uh, that whosoever believe in him uh, should not perish but have uh, everlasting life. Wherefore, this morning, Sister McGill, we can acclaim uh, with Paul who said, Thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. Uh, listen, uh, the Christ this Christmas, you don't need sound. You need a Savior. You don't need to do any more shopping. You need a Savior. Because if you hadn't noticed, Pastor Jones, the, the world around us is getting worse and worse. Every time you turn on the news, all you hear is trouble, trials, uh, and tribulations. This, just this past week, Deacon Scott, uh, in Michigan, a 15-year-old Martha boy went on a random shooting spree, spree in school. I tell you, our world is in a mighty bad shape. But to bring it a little closer to home, uh, Antonio, right here in Alabama, a former sheriff in Jefferson County pleaded guilty to having child pornography. Let me bring it a little closer to home this morning, Douglas Tabernacle. Ah, have you noticed, Sister Daphne Lane, how our children know how to tweet and twerk, but they can't think? Uh-huh, y'all catch that when you get home. Yeah, man, uh, uh, they, they, they built like a brick house, uh, but they ain't got no furniture upstairs. Y'all ain't saying nothing, y'all. Laying around, playing the game, and won't get up and go to work. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me, y'all. Y'all looking at me like, oh, let me preach it where you can reach it this morning. I ought to tell you the problem, baby, that ain't these children, it's who's raising these children. Uh huh. Because the Bible said, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they old, they won't depart from it. That these children ain't doing right. It's because some grown folk ain't handling business at home. When you don't say amen to stuff like that, you look like you've been indicted. Wherefore, they can stop this morning. We need to celebrate Jesus uh, as Christmas is about God uh, showing us mercy in and through the person of Jesus Christ. 
Ah, uh, uh, let's walk around the text. Uh, this peripheral Pastor Joel uh, read in your hearing. Uh, Matthew records the birth of our Savior, whereby we are encouraged to celebrate Jesus, uh, who is uh, Emmanuel, God with us. Uh, Brother Gates, here's why we celebrate Jesus. Uh, first of all, notice uh, his person. Verse 18, amen, look at the text. Verse, verse, verse 18 uh, says, Now the birth of Christ uh, was as follows. Uh, after his mother was betrothed to Joseph, uh, before they came together, she was found uh, with child of uh, the Holy Spirit. Ah, Mother Hargrove, uh, this Jesus spoken of in the text uh, was no ordinary baby. Uh, Antonio, there were other babies that were born named Jesus uh, at the time of the text as the name Jesus. Uh, Deacon McDonald was a popular name uh, of the culture being Yahshua in the Hebrew uh, being interpreted uh, salvation. However, Sister Clark, uh, this person named Jesus uh, was different because a uh, uh, Deacon Love, uh, his mother was a virgin. She had never just had a sexual relation with a man. Y'all no, ain't saying nothing to me. Joseph was his earthly father, but God, through the Holy Spirit, was his biological father. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. And Sister Brown, this was the first time instead of the baby looking like the mother, the mother looked like a baby. Y'all ain't saying nothing, y'all might cry. Mary nurses uh, her maker and the dust holds uh, divinity. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, it is, uh, Antonio, I know we live uh, in an age and a time where people doubt the Bible. Ah, uh, but Deacon Hewlett, I believe uh, in the Immaculate Conception and I believe uh, in the virgin birth. With God, incarnation, Pastor Jones, uh, was simply a reversal of creation. Because in creation, God got man without the benefit of a mother. And William, in incarnation, he got man again without the benefit of the father. I wish I had some Bible readers here. And here it is. The Lord put Adam to sleep of Takara. And from his side, he got Eve. If God can get Eve from Adam, then I know he can get Jesus from Mary. I ain't saying nothing. Because the Bible says that with God, I'm going to all things are possible. Uh, and Pastor this morning. I need to encourage somebody who God has moved in your heart to do certain things. God's told you to go back to school. He's told you to start a new job. He's told you to get out of the situation that you're in. Listen, this morning, uh, don't worry about how. Just believe that if God gives vision, oh, hallelujah, anybody know he'll give hope vision. Y'all ain't saying, y'all tweet that out. I say, if God gives vision, uh, he's able to give hope vision. Uh, Shelly White, men deal in opinions. But Pastor Jones, God deals in facts. Man says one thing, and William God says another. Man says, Abraham, you can't have a child. God says, Abraham, I'm going to make your father of many nations. Man says, Moses, uh, you can't speak plain. Uh, God says, Moses, go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Uh, man says, David, you are nobody. But God says, you're the next king of Israel. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Men give an opinion, but God, oh, hallelujah, deals in fact. Uh, I need to tell somebody this morning, men say, you ain't going to make it. But God says he'll supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Men say you're already defeated. But God says no weapon formed against you can be preached this morning. Men say you're all by yourself. But God says I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I know what they have to say, but there anybody in here that wants to hear what the Lord has to say. Oh, hallelujah, because the Lord, so the Johnson had the last say so. And so first of all, Pastor Jones, there is his person. But then secondly, there is his purpose. Verse 21 says, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. And sister God, this time of the year, we adore Jesus' birth. 
But William this morning, I want to tell you, he didn't stay a baby. Because when Jesus was born, the shadow of the cross was hanging over the crib. I wish I had some help in the year. Uh, uh, but William, Jesus died uh, to pay a debt he didn't owe because we owed a price uh, we could not pay. And listen, I know why y'all looking at me like, huh? Because Deborah, here's the truth. That doesn't mean anything to bougie folk who think they pretty good. However, Martha, when you know the depths of your own guilt, you can't help but to thank God for his grace. I say when you know the depth of your own guilt, Valerie, you can't help but to thank God for his grace. Listen, this morning, I know that you're covered up with your church clothes on. Mm -hmm. You went down to Hair Queen and you bought that hair. Uh-huh, you got that smile on your face. But so the Lord for it, underneath all that covering uh, is somebody who needs uh, to be delivered. Uh, ain't saying nothing. Uh, and you know it better than anybody up there. Don't act like you all that. To me, because don't nobody else know you know. Because you go home with yourself. Brenda May, I'm not here this morning because I've lived so right. I'm not here because I've done so well. I'm here because even though I'm saved, I still need God to deliver me. I wish I had somebody here. In fact, sometimes I have to say, Lord, deliver me from me. Mm -hmm, because my, the biggest enemy I have, Pastor John, is myself. I celebrate Jesus William this morning because uh, he became a ransom for me. The innocent died for the guilty and the righteous for the unrighteous. I figured y'all wouldn't say anything so surprised, so I brought my own witness. The Bible said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. They are all we like sheep have gone astray. We turn everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Y'all look at me like humble Sister Douglas. I'm a preacher like I feel it. I'm here this morning because I have an advocate with the Father in Christ Jesus. And Beverly, when this life is over, I know I'm going to see God for myself. Because when Friday on a hill called Calvary, Jesus died. Didn't he die? But you know, Pastor Jones, I worked on this message this week. It occurred to me that tragically, people are moving away from this kind of preaching. Uh, Mother Hart wrote, they call it old fashioned. Because we live in a world where everything is relative and subjective. And so, not a lot of people say, if it feels right, you ought to do it. But can I tell y'all this morning, that's foolish. Because truth is, William, you can't go through life doing what you want to do. Because brothers and sisters, everything ain't right. In fact, Terry Douglas, there's a whole lot of things that are wrong. And listen, the wages of sin is death. And anybody know payday is coming after a while. I wish I had some help in here. I tell you, hell is hot. And eternity is long. And if you're not saved, uh, you're going to die and go to hell. I wish I had some help in here. But because Jesus came uh, to deliver us from our sin, uh, Billy, we have another chance. Now listen, Sister Clark, as imperfect as I am, I could be a whole lot worse. William, I could have been dead. I could have been locked up. I could have been hooked on drugs. But and call your God, he kept me. I wonder if anybody in here glad that God, he kept you. God kept me, Beverly, when I didn't even know his name. Uh, Sister Fletcher, he kept me when I didn't know how to pray. He kept me, Sister Matkins, when I didn't have him uh, on my mind. Billy, when I was too foolish to pray for myself, somebody prayed for me. I wish I had somebody here. I'm talking about me now, baby. I say when I was too foolish to pray for myself, somebody prayed for me. I uh, think uh, McDonald, I can still hear my grandmother washing dishes, uh, see her washing dishes, uh, and hear her prayer. Lord, look out for that boy. Don't let him end up in jail. 
if you see him going away, that he ought not go. Or grab him by the reins of his mind before it's everlasting. Y'all saying something too late. Anybody beside me ever have a praying grandma? A praying mom, a praying big daddy, somebody who prayed for you when you didn't have sense enough to pray for yourself. And the reason you ain't in hell right now is because somebody got down on their knees and cried, Lord. Lord, have mercy. And I'm going to tell you, God, the shot is still answering prayers of people who are dead and in their grave. And since I brought it up this morning, Sierra, I may as well tell you of those who have children and grandchildren. These children don't need to see you acting a fool on TikTok. Uh-huh. They need to see you now on your knees crying out to the Father in faith. Say, Lord, deliver me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm glad my grandmama got on her knees in front of me and cried out to God. And so, as I try to hustle to a close, I read more that text gives us his person, his purpose, and then lastly, his presence. Uh, Pastor Jones, the text says, uh, so all these things were done that it might be fulfilled. That which is spoken by the prophet saying, behold, the virgin shall be with child. And William, she shall bear son, and they shall call his name Jesus, which is interpreted Emmanuel, a God with us. William, by Jesus, born on earth as a man, he was God in the flesh. Now, since he's gone back to heaven, he's God in the spirit. But Douglas Tabernacle, I need you to understand that there has never been a time uh, when God and Jesus have not been one. In fact, William, there's never been a time when Jesus uh, has not been God. Uh, because the Bible says in the beginning uh, was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Uh, and in the beginning, the same was in the beginning with God. And all things, sister Ollie, were made by Him. And without Him was anything made that was made. Uh, the one of, and the Bible says, and the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us, and we behold uh, his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Uh, and God, all right, Mother Hammond, I, I don't fully understand it, but, but Beverly, I just believe it. I wish I had some folk in here. Um, Y'all want to come on and ride with me. I say, William, I don't fully understand it, but I believe it, because one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But to this, Beverly, there's some more things I don't understand. I don't understand to call a house. I can dial 10 digits on the phone and talk to you. But what I do, William, is make the call and thank God that it works. I wish I had somebody here. And that's the same thing with God. Beverly, I don't understand all there is about God. But I thank God that when I call him, anybody here know he will come.
is in me. I don't have He took care of me in June and July. Gave me strength in August and September. And God, all right, made a way out of nowhere in October and November. And here I am, Scott, the first Sunday in December. And God is still making a way. He's still paying bills. He's still got food on the table. Anybody here going to help me celebrate Jesus? Do y'all know him? He's the unseen God. He's the ancient of days. He's the one Lord. God Almighty stepped across 40 and 2 generation. Do y'all know him? The car I saw him. Eight days old. They circumcised him. Twelve years old. In the temple. Went off the scene. Eighteen long years. John Baptist said, Behold, Lamb of God, come and take away sins of the world. Do y'all see him? When Friday evening, took him out to the Calvary's cross. They hung him high. They stretched him wide. He died. Didn't he die? The right there. Sunday morning, he got up out the grave. All power in his hand. Anybody know he's alive? He's alive. Anybody know he's alive? Anybody know he's alive?
and believe in your heart. And you should be saved. And I know it's old fashioned. But you know what, Kevin? It's still true. William, there's still a hell to shun and a God to glorify. If you're here and you don't know Jesus, we invite you to come. This is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. We say if you're young, he's a young Savior. If you're old, he's an old Savior. If you're somewhere in between, he's a somewhere in between Savior. But no matter who you are and where you are, God is able to save you. If you need a church home, come to Jesus right now. Don't put off the day for tomorrow. This is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. Y'all praise God for our sister as she comes. Somebody else you all come. Somebody else ought to come. Maybe you joined church a long time ago. But for this reason or that reason, you walked away. Come on back home right now. This is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. Because here's the truth, Terry Douglas. And I see you outside. And I hope the folk outside on the street can hear what I'm saying. You don't know when death is going to meet you. You don't have to be old to die. You ain't got to be sick to die. You just have to be born to die. And make no mistake about it. I don't care what the preacher in some other place say. If you don't know Jesus, hell is going to be your home. And look, as long as we've gotten away from it, this contemporary age, we act like everybody die. Catch wings and go to heaven. Don't quit saying that on Facebook. One, you ain't got no wings. Ain't nothing in the Bible about you having no wings. And secondly, if you want to go to heaven, you got to confess with your mouth and believe, Sister Gail, in your heart that Jesus died and God raised him from the dead. And the Bible says, Me and you shall be saved. If you're here, candidate for baptism and restoration, perhaps you heard the voice of God. The Bible says, when you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If you're here, won't you come? Come on. Don't put off today for tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised. Here it is, baby, and I'm done. Tomorrow might come. And you might not come with it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Just because you're here today, man, don't mean you're going to be here tomorrow. But if you lay down and die tonight, and I've got to preach like this, do y'all see everything going on in the world? Uh, up in Michigan, the other day, 15 years old. And the way the story is unfolding, the parents do something about it. That's the kind of world we live in. Who would want to live in this world without a Savior? So, Clark, I'm glad he's Emmanuel. God with me. William, I'm bad, but I'm, I'm not bad enough to go anywhere by myself. But I got God with me. And so, Billy, if something go down, I know God got it. And here's what I can say to one, and I can say it in me and Facebook. If he let me live, it's well. But then, Billy, if I die, it's well. I know I can go.
God bless you. God keep you. Amen. This is our prayer. Y'all give God some glory. Franklin, and uh, she's coming back. Kristen, Jamie, and Charlton, and I would have to hear Douglas back around. Y'all say amen. All right, sisters, Robinson, we got lunches here. We got two or three fours, and then my cousin here. Amen. amen. Y'all think y'all gonna come when I got my cousin. <laughs> amen. 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 Thank God for you. You all, Chris, what church are you coming from? We want to send Big Shiloh a letter, let them know what's going on. Amen. But on your confession, we receive you. Amen. Yes. And on behalf of this church, I welcome you to this fellowship. We want you to get active. I've known you a long time. I know your family. I know them well. Get active in church. Amen. Because the devil don't like what's going on now. Amen. If he's been after you before, he'll be after you show up. We welcome you here. We welcome you to get involved in all that we have. Amen. So y'all get involved. So God bless you, you may be returned to your city. So y'all give God glory today. Momentarily we're going to, amen, got a couple things we need to do. Momentarily we're going to go outside, those who desire to hang out outside for all about two and a half minutes. We're going to put this time capsule in the ground, amen, amen, to be open in 2041. In the Douglas Tabernacle Primitive Baptist Church, where Mario D. Ford will still be pastor. Amen. We're going to go outside and plant that momentarily. Amen. Certainly, if you desire to yield after the benediction, you may give as you exit the building. Amen. Uh, on today, we're blessed to have, again, I said earlier, one of the best music ministries here in the city of Huntsville throughout the state and really throughout the country. Amen. Douglas Tabernacle, y'all say amen. Amen. So we want to invite them to come. If I call them, we want to tell them. We just want to give them a little expression of our love and our appreciation. Amen. And I'll start with Sister Clark. Amen. She would come. Amen. And so we had to reschedule our youth this morning. Uh, I got that call last yesterday, and I said, Well, I've been working on the song, but I was going to hold it to 2022. Amen. I said, I'm going to lay it down. Sister Clark said, Pastor, stay in your lane. Amen. You preach and you do that well. You preach. Let us have the singing. Amen. And that's what I do. So I thank God for you. I pray God bless you and bless your ministry. Amen. 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 We also have Deacon Scott. Amen. Amen. I had some apprehensions yesterday. Amen. I didn't know. I said, I'm going to want to see Deacon Scott or not. Amen. He got on that Alabama bow tie. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even watch the game yesterday for kids because I knew it was going to be bad. A friend of mine texted me. I said, who went there? She said, Alabama. I said, uh-oh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I finished watching Money Heist. Amen. So we all fit. Oh, my God. Amen. 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 But on behalf of the staff and that, we want to appreciate you. Amen. Thank God for all right. And also have Sister Tamika McMillan. She's somewhere. There she is. Amen. Thank y'all give God some praise for her. God has blessed us, amen, in this season. Amen. That the Lord has allowed our church to grow. We have a youth choir and a young adult choir. Amen. And Sister Tamika takes care of that, so we want to let you know we thank you. Amen. I've known her. Amen. Many years, amen, many years. I ain't going to tell our age, amen, amen, amen. She older than me from April to September, but y'all figure that out when we get home, amen. So we thank God for you, thank you for your work and your labor. Amen, amen. Our next young man, the brother uh, Antonio Hargrove Jr., amen, affectionately known as Lil' Tony, amen. This young man, I'm so proud of him. The Lord allowed him to see Friday. He'll graduate from the police academy. Amen. Y'all give God praise. Now, all of our young black men are in the street. Amen. And some of them are in the church. Glad he graduated. So, Pastor got that black car with the church tag. So, if I get above 75, you understand. <laughs> I heard what you said about the law. Amen. 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 Am
pray God bless you. Thank God for your ministry. Yes, sir. And last but not least, we have our very gifted pianist and leader of our music manager, Sister Jesse Moore. If y'all can not pray for her. She has been our musician for 44 years. Capsule, so McKenzie, I ain't gonna hold it long. Amen. We're gonna drop it in the hole and amen. Ask William to say a quick prayer, and then we're gonna call it buried. Amen. Amen. We're gonna come back and put, put a marker there in days to come. But again, in 20 years, and I hope all of us make it, but if we don't make it, let's pray that God keep this church here. Amen. Amen. He allows us to grow and allow us to meet the needs of the people in this community or wherever He plants Douglas Tabernacle. Again, Mother, Mother Hammond reminded us on church anniversary that a blind man with a third grade education started this church 80 years ago. 80 years later, we're state of the art and we're moving forward in the name of Jesus. Y'all say amen. And so you got the desire to give, you may do so at your edge of the building. Again, probably if this is so, we get a benediction about five minutes later, we're going to be in the front yard. Amen. I told you to bring the time capsule is heavy. Okay. Amen. Mr. Mason, I ain't as strong as I used to be. Amen. I used to be holding it all day, but the night cracked open, we find out what's inside of it now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So if all hearts and minds are clear, let us stand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 